respected resource person, Sri Saurabh Prasad, my distinguished colleague in the executive committee, Gautam, Gautam Garu, and our treasurer, Mr. Muthuvelu, lady and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to you all this grand evening. This has been our uh, 75th event. Should all give a clap, huh? 75th. Platinum Jubilee. Platinum Jubilee. It's a, it means six years plus. This is something in this, this arrangement has been more or less institutionalized. People coming together is one thing. Two organizations coming together and delivering a value to people is another great thing. I, I, that way I am really health, very, very thankful for the Madras Management Association to be working with us in delivering this uh, series of lectures month on, every month. Let's not themselves from the problem and look <coughs> at what can be done. Expertise is available. People have to realize and take it forward. Now, I have the very great honor and pleasure of introducing Mr. Mr. Ray Speaks. He's a mechanical engineer from the prestigious Gindi College of Engineering, College of Engineering, Gindi, Anna University, and in India. He started his career with the Tata Computer Services in the Business Process Engineering Group. And over a span of five years, some of the leaders of the small and medium sized companies. Um, as uh, Sri Padmanabhan sir uh, told, um, I have my own company, right? So I've been, uh, I'm a me mechanical engineer by uh, training. I graduated from uh, Anna University College of Engineering in Delhi. Um, I've been working for about 11 years, uh, both in India and abroad. Um, yeah, worked with PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, fire, everything in the span of operations and supply chain concerns. Um, so over the years, um, when I've consulted, yeah, I mean, once the product um, demand goes down, immediately you cannot start reducing overheads because there are some fixed overheads like utilities, electricity, your manpower, and all these things are fixed overhead. The only way to reduce or to meet this lower demand is to cut your variable cost because the fixed cost, unless and until the demand is low for a very long period of time. You cannot uh, tap losing a lot of money and without uh, investing a lot more additional or without firing a lot of people or reducing your trusting, you will be able to manage your volatility. When your customer demand goes up, you will be able to increase your manufacturing capacity. So that, that is the key challenge as far as industries are concerned right now. Right? How do you manage this volatility? Because the customer demand keeps varying at a very, very rapid pace. So now moving deeper into operational strategy. So how do you study a manufacturing facility? Right? This is, everything is illustrated from a project that I had done long time back. So I've just taken those numbers. Please don't focus on the numbers, but only the uh, key value also goes into it. And then you have your um, speed. So um, operational efficiency is uh, simple. Um, your uh, machine is running. What percentage of the machine time it's running and what percentage of the machine time it is stopped, which is breakdown time. And when it's running, uh, is it producing the number of products? For example, every machine has a certain amount of output production that it's supposed to produce. Capacity. Capacity, exactly. So is it able to, when it's running the number of hours, when it's, is it able to produce it to a theoretical capacity? And so this is on the operational efficiency front. Then on the speed front here, there is a huge discussion because what happens, especially with um, equipments which have already been implemented in manufacturing companies, is they have fine-tuned it. 
So the theoretical speed of the machine might be very high, but the actual running speed of the machine in order to uh, optimize their quality rejection and things would be a lot lower. And this is a controversial topic because once you take this up, uh, then they say we cannot do it and, and things of that sort. But this is also a measure. What is your theoretical speed of the line versus what is the speed at which you are running? I don't care about the quality of production. I don't care about how many products. Theoretical speed, your machine is supposed to run at this speed versus what is your actual speed at which it is running. And third aspect is quality. When it is running, what percentage of the products are becoming defective? What percentage of the product is uh, experiment or an exercise. Let us ask some 15 people, salaried people or 10 salaried people, are you satisfied with the salary you are getting? I think we can confidently guess that most of them is. Aspect of this was the, his, the and his caliber came through when he answered the questions posed by some of the uh, participants and very interesting questions posed by both of them. They're wonderful uh, answers given by him. Shows that his uh, talent and uh, expertise. So I thank uh, Sri Sarutha Sar, thank the uh, Madras Management Association with whom we are partnering to organize the series. Thank all of you and uh, thanks very much. Thank